<coughs> this council meeting will be webcast and I remind all those present that their words and actions will be broadcast to a wider audience and certain conduct is unacceptable and it will not be tolerated. Should any person not wish to be recorded, I advise that they should leave the meeting room prior to any statements being made. Any defamatory statements made are not the position of council and remain an individual's opinion. Council accepts no responsibility for any defamatory statements and all liability remains with the person making those remarks. Councillors, I'll now call on Councillor Sutherland to do an acknowledgement. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, I'd like to say Yama, Yama Nei Gomoroi, Ola Bagniani, Wunung Galwa, Ngabu Mari, Maro Mara, Nalai Daun, Dilia Yanbali, Gernu Mari Skyangal Gomoroi Ngam Nanginda, Wunala Nginda, Wunang Alawa. And that's the language spoken by my family and the community here across Plymouth Regional Council, acknowledging the country that we are on, which is land of the Gomoroi people. Make sure, Mr Mayor, that we pay respects to our elders, both past and present, who have cared and still care for this country. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Sutherland. Uh, those who wish, I would ask you if you would stand to the meeting prayer and I'll call on Pastor uh, uh, Dunlop to please present the prayer. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. Evening, everybody. Uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you as the Lord of heaven and earth and the sustainer of all things. Uh, we thank you for the prosperity and stability that you've given to Tamworth and for the great community and freedom that we enjoy. Please continue to have your hand upon us, and we particularly thank you for good recent rain. Uh, we pray that our community leaders will continue to build and strengthen our community, especially the councillors and staff of Tamworth Regional Council. Give them great wisdom and unity, that every decision would be full of integrity and equity for the advancement of our region and community. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. <coughs> Councillors, uh, we'll move to open the meeting and call for apologies or leave of absence. So we do have. Happy to move. We do have one apology, Councillor Southall, uh, who's away on business, and that's moved. Councillor Burke, did we accept that? A second that? Councillor Betts, all those in favour say aye. 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 Uh, that apology is accepted. We move on to item two, community consultation. I don't believe we have anyone registered for community consultation, so we can move on to item three, minutes from the previous meeting. Could I have someone to move with their true and correct record, please? Councillor Kate, second to Councillor Sutherland. Uh, any, any matters arising or any questions there? I'll put the uh, recommendation that they be accepted. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those against, carry. We move on to item four, disclosures of interest. Do we have any disclosures of interest? We have no disclosures of interest. We'll move straight on to item five, mayoral minute. There is no mayoral minute. Item six, there are no notices of motion. And we move straight into open council reports. So first off the list is environment and planning and there is little to report on tonight. Uh, secondly is item eight, infrastructure services. Uh, there's nil to report on tonight. We move to 9, 9.1. I'd ask if, uh, as we step into 9.1, I'd ask if somebody could move that we accept that report. We do have some move, names Mr. to Mayor. put up. We do have some names to put up. Uh, moved and seconded Councillor Coates. Moved Councillor Rodder, seconded Councillor Coates. Uh, on the board behind us, I think, there's a number of names already there. Uh, we need, uh, we have Hip Street Health Council, Helen Pickle and Councillor Mark Rodder have been invited. I too was also in, in written to and invited, but I'm happy that uh, you guys go to that. I think it's great that you're representing the council there. Uh, but we have some gaps to fill in. We have Barra, the Vienna, Medeiroi and St Tingle and the Miller um, and Moomy. Um, so have we got some names to fill in some of those slots? So I'll move around the table, Councillor Betts. Uh, thanks, Mr Mayor. Um, I won't be able to attend any of the uh, official functions uh, as I am a member of the Katingle Lions Club and my role is running the Anzac Day service at Katingle 
and being the MC, and uh, it's a fairly time-consuming role for the day. So uh, I'll be oh, there at the tingle, but I will not. You don't want to go to Barabba. I won't be able to go to Barabba. <laughs> <laughs> Council of Mayors. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Mayor. I was just looking at. I'm happy to do Barabba. You're happy to do yeah. Barabba. Council of Southern. <coughs> Mr. Mayor, unfortunately, um, with the school holidays coming up, I will be um, shortly um, after the meeting letting Council know that I have some prior obligations throughout the school holidays as Director of the Gomeroy Cultural Academy, so I will be away for the entirety of that week. Um, so unfortunately, I won't be able to represent the Council in any formal capacity. I apologise. Councillor Tickle. Um, the Gibbs Street Memorial, I'll also be going to the dawn service, but it doesn't have to be recorded. I'll just do that anyway. And in the Chandler service, however, I'm happy to do uh, whatever's left after we've been around the table, if it fits in with the Gibbs Street one. Uh, I think the summer one is at 8.30 or something, isn't it? And then the uh, no, 10. Oh, I just noticed Juri overlaps with the Gibbs Street one, so that's Does it? Oh, we'll, we'll slot you in here somewhere in a minute, Councillor Pickle. Councillor Berg. Um, Mr. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I'd be um, privileged to do Summerton. Um, and I also, if time permits, will see if I can go to one of the others uh, in an unofficial role. But, um, if it does fit, I'm happy to do one of the others. I'll have to have a look at that time. Looks like we've got a couple of gaps there. Which ones would you? Can I come back to you after? Yeah. Uh, Councillor Roddy, you're. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Mayor, um, so I did accept um, the Gift Street Memorial, but if, if Councillor Tickle would like to do that, then maybe to help out, I could go to Juroi. Never been to that one, but. It's an awesome. Same time. Tour. Yeah. Um, just to just to help out, I'll obviously would have to need to advise the Rotary um, that I withdraw my. Can we? So we've got a couple of maybes here, Councillor Cates. Um, Mr. Mayor, I am happy to do Bendemir. Um, I normally do Barabbas, but Councillor Mears is um, heading up that way this time, and I normally do. The Moonby School, which is the underneath Manila Central, they usually advise us of when that actually happens. So I'm happy to do that. If no one is doing Masonic Village, you sorry, Councillor Beth was doing that. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's not there. <laughs> um, but you need someone for kitchen. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Do you want to come to Manila too? Oh. Councillor Coates. Um, if there's already... What time is the Manila one? I'm happy to do that or I'm happy to do Katingle, whichever one, because can... both of those are... What time is Manila? Um, excuse me. 10.30. 10.45. 10 10.45, yep. Yeah. That's, uh, so that's, I can cancel that. I always had two. Yeah. Sure yeah. Should be the one above. Yeah. I'd like to do more, but it's a little bit of Do Dawn service really early, yeah. and I'll do the mark out there as well. Councillor Pickles would also like to do Manila. Yeah, I can do. You can do Manila. Yeah. It's like you just changed it, so I won't do Manila. So we've got everything covered by Kudi, Katingle. I could go and do because that would be on my way back yeah. from yeah, Bendemir. And we've got... Time's all right. Okay. Yeah. Moonby yeah. and Katingle not work together. Still no, doing no it's, it's only one. <laughs> uh, Councillor Coates is doing Manila. I'm sorry, Councillor Tickle. Councillor Tickle's doing Manila, right. and I'll do the Katingle. Yeah. Okay. And Ben. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's usually. Well, so that covers all the chaos. Except, except Moonby. No, Moonby is the school one, and I'm happy Moonby to. Moonby goes with you. Phil just said Moonby and Katingle are the same one. No, 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 no. That's Moonby School. 
Yeah. And they do. They let us know when that yeah. date is because I usually go out there and do that. So you want to do maybe? I'm school. happy to because it's on a school day out of the holidays. Yeah. So everybody happy with that or? Uh, happy with um, that? Need to remove me from Gib Street. Pardon? Need to remove me from Gib Street. Yeah. <coughs> All bases are covered. Council has asked before we move that that be accepted. Is everyone happy with those? Very good. So the recommendation is as printed with those names beside those events. And I have we've had a mover and a second. Put the motion. All those in favour say aye. 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 Those against carried. Thank you. <coughs> we'll move on to. Item 9.2, Audit and Risk Committee. Can I have a move and a seconder? Move Councillor Cade, seconder Councillor Mears. Okay, she was to speak to that. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I just wanted to advise Council of some of the outcomes of the, the latest um, ARIC meeting that was held in February. And I won't go into a lot of detail, but um, there were some issues from the 2023 year that were assessed and identified as... as um, some risks, and they included things around impairment of our infrastructure and property, um, some quality control procedures over revaluations, um, the impairment due to asbestos contamination of Ray Walsh House, that's an ongoing um, concern, and some accounting and cost apportioning of the Tamworth Global Gateway Park. Um, and some of those actually have some implications um, on the financial statements they will be covered in due course. There was also mention of cyber risks, which we're all very much aware of. And it was noted that this is more about mitigating and not preventing these sorts of things. And just to finish off, there was some priorities for 2024, which were basically around developing a four-year um, work plan to cover ARIC's responsibilities and some monitoring of aspects, aspects of the internal audit and management responses to those findings, the enterprise risk management framework, the business con continuity plan, and the IT recovery plan. So quite a lot's been going on um, in the ARIC space. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Case, just before you go, in relation to the asbestos at the Ray Walsh House, uh, we are still waiting for a response from the government, and I have had conversations with a local member in the last few days. I'll be again writing to him this week uh, to request uh, a more timely response from uh, Minister, the, the government through Minister Camper, as he did say to us, he did commit to giving us some responses. So that will be just a, as an advice to all councillors, we will be writing again. It appears to me if it's not going to be in the budget, we have to start taking some uh, steps in whatever direction we take. Uh, councillors, any further? anyone wish to speak against that report? Um, any further comments on that report? Been no further comments. I'll put item 9.2. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Uh, those against, carried. We'll move to item 9.3. Could I have a mover and a seconder, please? Move to Councillor Mears, second to Councillor Cates. Councillor Mears, you wish to speak to that? Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Anyone wish to speak against that uh, recommendation on our risk appetite? Any comments on uh, our risk appetite? Councillor Cates. Just once again, very briefly, I think that. Um, the regular review and updating of the policy actually ensures that any new risks that we identify are actually included um, for use across the, the whole organisation. And um, I also welcome the revision of Council's commitment to create value wherever and whenever possible for community through a positive uh, risk culture. I think that was one of the important factors that come out of that. So uh, with those things in mind and a few other, I recommend the... Um, I support the recommendation. Thank you. Further comments, Councillor? <coughs> Councillor Betts? Yes, Mr Mayor, uh, yeah, I've read the, um, all the appendices and yeah, I agree with the, uh, the approach. I had uh, my career as uh, writing uh, work, work health, safety, environment and quality policies uh, for a previous uh, government organisation and uh, right at the embryonic stage. And one thing uh, we need to be very, very careful that we don't make ourselves just too risk averse in certain areas. Certainly, work health safety um, and public uh, and the public safety is paramount. Yeah, there's no there's no um, 
sort of uh, shortcuts there. But some of the other risks, we need to have a risk management process where you have a look at the consequence of whatever your action is, and the, but more importantly, the likelihood of what you're going to do and what the control measures. And that can go right across the board. It's the same with the work health, safety and environment, but in certain other areas, it needs to be managed very, very carefully. Otherwise, you'll end up with a uh, situation where your hands are so tied uh, just in the ordinary uh, management of your business. Thanks, Mr Mayor. Councillor Ryder. Oh, Mr Mayor, I only want to actually just make a comment. In relation to commentary, it refers to uh, the term tribal council, and I was wondering whether that should be actually amended um, so members of the public would understand what that refers to because they might think it actually refers to a TV show rather than um, the executive management team of our council. And I was, yeah, so I just thought that maybe in the commentary uh, should be amended to reflect um, the senior staff of council rather than, um, rather than what's currently there. Council Rodder, I accept your comment on that and I think we should actually add in there uh, that point that it is the uh, meeting of directors and the general manager. I'll take that on notice. Thank you. Any further comments, councillors? There being no further comments, I'll put that recommendation. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those against, <coughs> carried. Councillors, we now move into item 10, community services, and we have 10.1. Uh, <coughs> uh, we've got the City Centre Working Group, Councillor Tickle. Seconded, Councillor Sutton. <coughs> Councillor Pickering, um, Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's a, a very uh, productive meeting, and there's quite a detailed summary of um, the main points of that meeting, which um, were detailed in the report, so I won't go over those. But uh, we covered a lot of ground in that, which, uh, which uh, resulted in a lot of very uh, good outcomes and positive outcomes. And I'd also like to acknowledge again and thank our community members on that most uh, and the business people representing various sectors within our community um, who give up their time and, and come to that meeting and they've certainly got a lot to contribute and um, it's uh, very helpful to council to have the caliber of people that we do sitting around at the table in that um, committee but as I said the reports um, well detailed and as you can see we moved through a lot of business that day do I wish to speak against that recommendation any further comments on the recommendation councillor Rodda yes yeah, thank you mr. mayor just in relation to uh, I think uh, TCMF um, definitely agree um, in those uh, in the recommendation in relation to activating the northern part of Peel Street, which I hope would be potentially obviously beyond <coughs> Burke Street towards the Courthouse Hotel, try and capture uh, that interest in um, uh, the festival up that end, um, and um, you know I think those the people those businesses and um, and um, uh, up that end would probably applaud to be included in the TCMF uh, and also the Queen of Country Music Quest which really I don't know whether that was actually mentioned much but I couldn't attend the the feedback um, night but uh, I think I did raise that with Barry Harley but um, um, it's something that we do need to revisit too that uh, a lot of people are missing and one final thing in relation to the pavers um, I've had some representations from residents, particularly during the recent wet weather, about the safety of pavers and was Council going to do anything to address the slippery surface when wet? Thanks, Councillor Rodder. I think in respect of the uh, of that end of Peel Street, we did have a crack at that a few years ago and it's probably time to have another crack at trying to get um, you know, see if there's interest in down there with the, uh, in getting some activation down there. In respect of the, uh, the Queen, uh, that's a conversation we do need to have and make a decision on where we go with that. Councillor Case, did you want to make Yeah, thank you, Mr Mayor. I just wanted to make a brief comment on the Country Music Festival as well, and more to actually acknowledge that um, at a time when other music festivals are decreasing or dying or have died, our model appears to be going forward with um, from strength to strength. So I think whatever we are doing is... Um, is 
the way to go forward with the future. And the other thing, just a comment in regards to the CBD bins and water stations, it was quite a significant conversation that we had at the meeting. And I'd, I'd like to see better coordination between the responsible stakeholders because they're in different departments. Um, it'd be good if we could sort of make sure that, you know, the bins and the cleaning are happening pretty much at the same time. So we do have a neat and tidy CBD. Um, that's just a comment around that. Thank you. Further comments, councillors? Just a quick one, Mr Mayor. Yeah, just in regards to the, the water fountains, uh, it was quite evident when I was in um, New Zealand recently and visiting Christchurch, they actually have a refrigerated trailer that they can move it to any specific area of town when there's an event going on. And so that, you, know, you can have it at the park, you can have it in Pearl Street during the country music festival, you can have a couple, cost per foot, you know, depending. So that instead of having to have you know, plumbed facilities in more than you know, multiple locations, that would be a possibility of saving council Cost where you can just tell and leave it where you like. So I've got some photos, but I'll, I'll distribute those. Share those. Yes, very good. Thank you. Uh, just to hone on Councillor Pickle's comments a little, when you talked about a lot of uh, other community members, business people being a part of this committee and giving up their time and adding valuable <coughs> contributions to uh, to our meetings, I'd say thank you to them. And you've highlighted that, and I think it's something we all should be very aware of. There is a number of people there that uh, contribute in a very good way and help us make some decisions uh, on behalf of the community for our CBD, which are all hopefully very positive into the future. In terms of developing that ongoing maintenance program, we, that, is, that is a matter of urgency. I agree with you, Council Cates, and we need to work on that. So any further comments? I'll put the recommendation. All those in favour say aye. 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 Those against, carry. Councillors will move from there on to item 10.2. Moved Councillor Sutherland, seconded Councillor Burke. Councillor Sutherland, do you want to? Make yes, please, <coughs> Mr. Mayor. Um, this meeting was really special. It was the first meeting, um, formal meeting of the new elected youth council, and the, and the uh, welcomed ten new youth councillors and, and brought back four existing youth councillors from a previous term. The returning officer for the elections of youth mayor and youth deputy mayor was facilitated by the general manager, Mr. Paul Bennett, and I think he commented that it was probably the most tense election that is, that is um, <laughs> facilitated. I think the, the interest and the capabilities of all the young people a part of the Youth Council putting their hand up for leadership positions meant that the went to the ballot several occasions for the youth mayor um, and was elected Rory Davis uh, for that role. And then for, for deputy youth mayor, it turned out to be a name drawn out of a hat that was shaping that conversation. So um, it was quite an event to, to sit through, but the, the calibre of young people sitting on our youth council really make it hard to, you know, to, to decide who is going to be the leadership group. But they adopted our youth, the, the youth strategy and the youth action plan, which is a massive step forward in strategic direction for young people, and are working towards youth week celebrations which Youth Week, for those who aren't aware, is next week and runs for just over seven days and starting off with a massive event at the skate park and finishing with a huge event at the Tamworth Regal Youth Centre. So the Youth Council are asking for as much support as they can get from councillors and from other councillor staff to make sure that week is a significant event on the calendar. Further, oh, anyone wish to speak against that recommendation? Further comments on that recommendation? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would just like to bring to notice that of the new councillors, youth councillors, there are actually two from out of Tamworth itself. So I really want to commend them on the on the commitment of not just being um, part of the council, but also the, the travelling that's associated with that. So well done. I think they're going to bring a different perspective to that youth council. So thank you. Well, just my quick comment just for those listening online and those in the audience that um, our community is very fortunate that the uh, Tamworth Regional Council some time ago actually decided that it was a good opportunity for us to involve youth in some decision making and try and grow youth within our community to understand what is actually happening uh, in civic leadership and so forth and we were one of the first to actually and establish a, uh, a youth council and I think that was something that the organisation should be very proud of. 
I think the other thing is that uh, there are many councils that are watching what we're doing with our youth council and with our youth in particular in that space. And a lot of them are looking to model uh, similar outcomes in their own local government areas that, that we've had for a few years now. So I think that's something that our community should be proud of and should be proud that the, uh, that the local council has put that into place. And I think it's great that we've got so many young people that are interested in becoming involved and uh, getting to understand what actually happens in with civic leadership and as we move forward it's very important that the young of today as we all know will be the leaders of tomorrow. Councillors, uh, I'll put that recommendation. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those against? Carried. Councillors, that brings us to the end of open council and we go into um, reports to be considered in closed council and I'll ask the uh, Acting General Manager, have you had any requests for any matters in closed council to be brought forward in open council? No, Mr. And is there anyone in the audience that would like to see uh, closed matters brought into open? They're not being the case. I'll uh, ask that we can uh, for a motion to move into closed council, please. Councillor Bett, seconded Councillor Southern. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those against? Council will uh, give us a few minutes and we'll move into closed council.
Um, Peter, could you just go and see if... I did that, um, getting rid of the ferals in that region. Do you know bass eat feral pests? There's only one item considered in closed council tonight, and the council has moved the, re the recommendation as printed. Thank you, Acting GM Bruce. Councillors, can I call for a motion to accept that report? Thank you, Councillor Cates, seconded Councillor Betts. All those in favour say aye. 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 